So welcome back to the channel the growing developer and I know it's been over 100 days since my last video has been uploaded on my channel so sorry for that to cover up with that I have come up with a new series which will be flutter animations and uh, we'll start with a basic introduction about how the animations work what is an animation first of all and what are the terminologies that we'll be using throughout this video throughout this uh, series basically we're going to start uh, with the basics till the end right so don't skip any part of this video because each and every second will be important to you i'll be uh, discussing many important topics inside this video and uh, next video will come very soon i promise you that so yeah let's begin uh, this video without wasting any time so let's start the growing developer So let's start with the basic definition of uh, animations in Flutter. What is an animation? A series of change of states where the object appears to be in motion or appears to be changing over some duration. Now see I have bolded out the states and over some duration that is the basics of animation. So state can be color, size or uh, like the height and width of it, the positions and of course for an animation there has to be some duration please keep a note of these two variables here that is state and over some duration now let's see how an animation gets compiled up right for uh, and uh, for a simple example let's see we have a fan right this fan appears to be moving but let's for the sake of simplicity let's just split it into two positions one would be at this position and suppose if i rotate it somehow i have the second position right now if I combine both of these position over some duration that is I'm repeating them to uh, change from position 1 to position 2 and if I combine them all I get this structure here. Now this fan appears to be moving but if we split them out we have two pictures that are rotated as some degree and then over some duration are rotating which creates an illusion that this fan is actually moving. So the most used word that you will have in animation is the tween. Let's understand what is tween and how does the tween come into picture. Okay, so tween. In betweening, equal into tweening. The tween word came between. Uh, the tween word came from in betweening, right? So that is generating frames in between two values to create an illusion of movement, right? As you saw in the example previously. We were having two position, position 1 and position 2 and then based on some duration we were rotating it that created an illusion that the fan was moving. So let's understand these three values. We have start value, end value and duration as we have discussed earlier only. So it's better if we view these values right. Suppose I have a ball which has the start value as 0. Start value here will denote the height. Okay. So second end value is 1. Suppose the height for this value uh, for this ball is 1 ok so I have a start value I have an end value I will go from start value to end value but at some duration suppose in 1 second or 200 millisecond right so in flutter what will tween do it will go from 0 to 1 not at an instant but suppose we have 100 milliseconds gap in between 0 to 1 then it will go from 0 0.001 0 0.002 like that okay until it reaches one in completely one second so if we combine into a tween format we will have this this is self-explanatory that it is a repetitive animation here we are de uh, we're definitely going from start value to end value at every instant suppose 200 milliseconds so that's all about introduction about the animation and tween we have a lot more to learn in animation but this but these are the basics and we'll start off with them so let's understand how we're gonna implement this tween using the tween animation builder so let's begin the actual coding part so this is a basic application that we have whenever we create a new project so we're going to start from scratch so the prerequisites i have just an assets folder and inside that i have this offer image so as we saw in the introduction only that we are going to animate this offer right so for animation to work we have the implicit animated widgets as well one of the widgets i have already covered in my previous videos that is animated container you can get the link here in the info section as well as in the description so go and check out the animated container as well 
so that's not a concern for this video we'll we're gonna learn about green animation builder basically okay so let's have the image first of all like right it's better to have an image so i'll just remove this column from here and directly use image dot asset and from here i have what do you call assets slash offer dot png let's save this so you have an asset which is this offer image that is uh, taking up the entire space so let's just confine it with some height so the height would be 100 pixels only so that's much right now what i want is that if i have some offer i want to this uh, i want this image to flash right so the series of animation or the series of steps would be it has some starting point 100 and then I want it, I want this height to go from 100 to 200 basically, right? So now if I do it again, height is 100, okay? Again, if I set the height as 200, so it is going at an instant. I don't want it to be like that much instant. I want it to be based on some duration, right? So let's use this. Uh, so we have the twin animation builder. So I'm going to wrap this... Uh, Right, let's wrap this widget uh, with tween animation builder. So the tween animation builder will take up a tween, will take up some duration and will al always have some builder property. So let's first give it a duration, a duration object and let's just give it a milliseconds of uh, maybe 300. Yeah, that would be fine. Next is the builder property and the tween property the tween is very important right so for the tween i'll give it a tween that's an object that we will use for the animation and as you can see that it has two properties begin and then end so for the begin property let's uh, just give it uh, maybe 100 i want the height to start from 100 and then end property will have 200 that is this tween will go from 100 to 200 right i think uh, this explains a lot but the main thing is duration i don't want it to happen in an instant if we add the time property inside that we'll have an animated container or basically an animated image so let's uh, we are we have already added the duration then we have the builder right let's do one thing for this twin i'm going to give it a type of double right so that it explains that what kind of value uh, this twin will hold so i have the container then i have the value then i have the child property that's it and i'm going to return this center from here simple so this builder property is going to take a value a child so this value will be whatever value this twin is holding okay so instead of this height here let's just give it a value right let's just save this and see what happens so you can see that let me just restart it again in 300 milliseconds it changed from 100 to 200 let me just increase the size so that it is much more visible okay so let's restart this again so you can see that it is going from 100 to 200 in 800 milliseconds but this is actually one way only i want this to repeat right how to do that inside our twin animation builder only we have this on end property it takes up a method call right so what i want is when this animation end i want to restart it now there isn't a direct way to restart this application uh this animation sorry so what we're gonna do is we're going to define a value for this height outside this class outside this build method basically so here i'll have a double height so the initial height is 100 right this is our initial height now in here on end what i'm going to do is height equals to I'm going to give it a new height so the logic would be if my height is already 100 right 
if my height is already 100 i want the height to grow to 200 otherwise give the height 100 value right we're going to set state here and put it inside set state let's understand what is happening so based on the value that i have from the tween i'm going to uh, like improvise with the height here but we have the begin and end values as whatever we have given these are the static values so i will so i need to change this end value with height whatever height i'm giving so initially i'll start from 100 end from and 200 that is our image will hold whatever size it has right let's see so if i save it you can see what is happening here initially i go from 100 to 100 when this animation will end i'm setting the height i'm checking the height if my height is 100 initially it is 100 then i'm changing the height back to 200 right if it is not 100 then i change it back to 100 so this logic here is going to self repeat itself as you can see that we have successfully implemented this repetitive animation using twin animation builder now it's totally up to our requirements how we want the animation to perform if we want it to be a one way or a repetitive kind of animation so that is very simple way of implementing the animation in your flutter application you have the animated container and here you have the animation builder it's not about that as you can see that I have used the double property here you can definitely use many more properties like color like positions and all that right so that's about uh, that's all about this video in the second part of this video we're gonna learn more about explicit animations and our personally defined animations using the animation builder and animation controller will come into the picture so that we have the complete control over these animations by that time check out my other videos in the in the channel and in the info section as well i have embedded the animated container video go and check out that as well and stay tuned more videos are coming soon again apologies for this inconsistent video upload from my side i'll try to be more consistent finally i'm getting some time for these videos so yeah let's show for the best thank you so much for watching this video hope you're having a nice day goodbye